Well, I'm joined by uh, Jason Goodliffe. Congratulations, Jason. I haven't been able to say that too many times of late, but you must be delighted with the win this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, all, all we can do now is, is win our fixtures. And, um, you know, we knew it would be a tough fixture, even though guys have been relegated already. You know, I came up and watched the game on Tuesday and they were fully committed against the Barrow team. And I knew that they'd be the same again today. So, um, you know, we're just really delighted for the lads. You know, they've, they've worked incredibly hard um, all season. You know, there hasn't been... Um, times where I've questioned people's commitment or effort for the cause um, and I think you know their, their hard work this, this week particularly on the training ground has been rewarded with a, with a win today. And of course what a substitution. <laughs> yeah listen I think um, you get lucky sometimes you know for, for us it was a case of uh, putting another body in the box someone with a bit more height and obviously Richard fits the bill you know he did actually say to me he was going to score today uh, funny enough and um, he hasn't scored all season, so I don't know where he got that from. But um, obviously, it's a great time for him to, to pop up, and it was a, it's a fantastic header. So, um, yeah, very pleased. And when you look at the game, you were really in control, weren't you, in the first half? And it must have been disappointing, really, to be pegged back, really, because the goal came out of the blue, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, we asked the boys to play, you know, play football. You go and do what you're good at. And, and to be fair, they, they took that into the game. You know, we looked fairly comfortable within it. We scored a good goal. Charlie took his goal very well. And, um, yeah, I felt like we were really comfortable in the game. But, unfortunately, at 1-0, you never know what's around the corner. And, you know, we really could have done with getting that second goal which we didn't and then you know to concede how we did was disappointing because we were in control of the ball at the time and um, and then you worry sort of how you're going to react to that particularly in the position we're in and the results that we've had recently but you know the boys dug deep they, they kept going and and like I say you know that the goal from Richard was fantastic but I thought also once we got our noses back in front I thought we saw the game out very well in the end. Yeah, you made a couple of changes today, didn't you? You had Gregor Cox on the bench and Charles Cook. Yeah. Was that always the game plan, to try and bring them on with half an hour to go, fresh legs? It certainly was. You know, I, I think um, for, for both of those lads, they're very young lads and they've been working extremely hard for the team. I just feel that the weight of expectation on those two has maybe sort of weighed them down a little bit in the last couple of weeks. You know, you, you're relying on Reese's goals, you're relying on Regan's magic. And I think it was time for some of the others to step up to the plate a little bit today. And I just wanted them to, to come on and give us a freshness late on. Now, albeit it went to one all, we did need to make the change. But, you know, the plan was to get them on the um, second half and, and, and set them free. And, you know, they saw the game out between them down in that right-hand corner at the end there particularly well. So, um, you know, they, the subs, you know, all three of them have come on and played a, a big part today. And of course, it wasn't just about what was going on here. There were events at the recreation ground at Aldershot. Were, were you aware of the score there? No, I'll, I'll be honest. I, since I've taken the job, I haven't looked at any other results. It's been about us picking up a win. You know, if we didn't win today, then you know then we would have gone down. Simple as that. So, um, you know, I think for, for me, it was a case of focusing on our result. Um, and when obviously we scored two-one, I heard a cheer late on, um, which I assumed was a goal, um, but I didn't know the situation whether it was one-nil, one or whatever. So. Um, you know, it's given us a chance, um, and, and that's all we can ask for going into the last game against Dover. And just a word about Joey Jones. He obviously uh, was rested for a few games, yeah. but he came in today, didn't he? And he really did a decent job in the middle of the park. Yeah. Listen, Joey, Joey's uh, 100% woke him um, through and through, and, he, and it, it's hurt him to, for us to be in this position. Um, I know it hurt him that he, he needed to come out of the team, but I think it's given Joey a freshness going into these last two games, and I think you saw that today. Um, you know, he was very good in there. He played a massive part in, in, in a big win for us, and, um, you know, congratulations to him as well for his 200th game today. You know, to play 200 games at one club, it's, it's, a, it's a big feat, you know, and um, he should be congratulated on that. And finally, just a word about the fans. They travelled here in numbers today, and so so important that they also get behind the boys next Saturday in our final game yeah John I said it last week and I, I really do mean it the fans have been fantastic you know and they travelled in their numbers today and it really does give us a lift you know that we just need now for as many people to come next week and support the team through thick and thin as they say you know because you know things might not be going our way at one stage of the game or some stage but you saw today how quickly football can swing with us scoring and then all the shot getting a goal so you know who's to say that can't happen next week and we, we really do need the fans to get behind us and you know forget myself you know listen the personal stuff that's being shouted at me I can take that I, I think it's, it's not about me it's about the, the, the lads getting behind the team you know the supporters please get behind them because they're a young group of lads who are doing their best to, to keep the team in the league Lovely thank you very much for your time Thank you